What are your thoughts on Black Ops 5 zombies? If you've been in the community at all recently, you'll know that this statement or this phrase itself has become kind of a meme because it's been asked in streams nonstop and videos on Twitter. Honestly, as much as that phrase has become a meme because, again, we it, it's we literally know nothing about Black Ops 5 zombies, as it were, I guess the message behind it and what people are really asking when they say that still stands. So, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about my thoughts on BO5 zombies. Well, not exactly. To clarify, I'm going to talk about the things that I believe, if implemented into the next Treyarch game properly, would do really well for not only the game in general, but zombies as a whole. Really quick, if you guys do enjoy today's video, please give it a like rating and subscribe also if you're brand new i'd really appreciate it so the first and most important thing we have to determine when we're talking about the next trailer game and specifically zombies you you have to ask yourself what is zombies to you and I mean that technically, like, is Zombies a simple wave defense game mode where the objective is just to literally survive to the highest round possible by whatever means necessary? Or is Zombies more of a journey-based quest game to you where you discover hidden secrets and you get taken through a journey and a narrative and a map and then ultimately leading to a final conclusion? And you could also say, yeah, maybe it's a little bit of both. And I think that would greatly depend on what game maybe you started in or which one is your favorite. For example, I think BO1 plays really well as a simple wave defense game mode with an underlying theme and layer of a, a more journey-based quest system where you have objectives and things to do. Or you could say Zombies is a game that should be primarily focused on the quests, the narrative, and then it has an underlying theme of a sort of a race against the clock where the rounds are going to get more difficult as you're doing this quest. And it's also completely normal and okay to have either of these opinions, whether you fall on the side of a more wave defense game mode or you fall on the side of a journey quest game mode. Both of these ways at looking at Zombies is correct and also valid. So fundamentally, when we're thinking about the next Treyarch game and, and what's coming out with that, we have to ask ourselves in terms of what would satisfy us as players is, what is Zombies to us? Up until around Black Ops 2, I would say for the majority of the Zombies community, World of War and BO1 were simple wave defense modes with, you know, a very slight underlying thing of a greater narrative being played on behind the scenes that you could participate in. And with Black Ops 2, that's where the focus really started to begin. But Black Ops 2 did something quite special. And it's something that no other game, even present, has been able to really capture. Black Ops 2 rode the really fine line between both of these styles of play. When you look at the game as a whole, you have maps like Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. And these are all, of course, Jimmy Zielinski maps. And Jimmy Zielinski creates zombies maps that don't really have any real structure. And I'm not saying that as an insult or a bad thing. In fact, I think it's one of his strongest attributes in zombies maps. That lack of structure that most of these Zielinski maps have is actually the number one thing that can help replayability of a zombies map. When you compare that to Jason Blundell maps, which are very structured, they're very neat and well-oriented you think of maps like origins and mob of the dead even just casually playing through those maps trying to obtain wonder weapons whatever those are all part of the main quest and it's definitely pointed in a way that will goad you on to do the rest of that easter egg while it doesn't outright make you do the quest in jason blundell maps it certainly points you in that direction at every chance it can get whereas a Zelensky map you can play through it for hours build all the things and do all the features that the map has to offer otherwise and not even touch the easter egg or even be aware that it is there and the more i think about it one of the biggest reasons i think black ops 2 was so memorable to people not only in terms of just the hardcore zombies audience but just gamers that played black ops 2 in general the reason why they remember it so much is there was something in that game for everyone whether you enjoyed again the more classic wave defense style of game or you liked the journey based quest of the you know more blundell-esque maps there was something in it for every kind of player and look, as much as I love Black Ops 3, and you guys know that, I also understand that all of the maps operate using the same formula in BO3. With that being said, it is a winning formula, right? Obviously, Black Ops 3 is a good game for a reason, and it's still one of the most, you know, beloved Zombies experiences, I would say, to date. But even so, Black Ops 3 is lacking that dichotomy of the chaos and order maps that Black Ops 2 did really well, and I think they did it unintentionally. 
Black Ops 2 truly was lightning in a bottle, and by no means is Black Ops 2 a perfect game. That's not the argument I'm making whatsoever. Black Ops 2 is severely flawed in a lot of ways, but it did a lot right. And of course, going into Black Ops 3, once we lost the dichotomy between the Jason Blundell and the Zelensky maps, Jason's winning formula took hold in BO3. And while this did work, I believe that the switch up of the formula into Black Ops 4 is where things really started to fall apart. Part, and I'll explain why. Of course, Black Ops 4, for a lot of people, was not the most optimal zombies experience, and for a lot of people, including myself, for a long time, I didn't understand why I didn't like it, and I think a lot of people are, are sort of feeling the same, where they, they know BO4 is zombies, but they don't know why it doesn't really feel like it should. And it's hard to articulate exactly why BO4 doesn't work for most players, and uh, the arguments that I hear all the time being made are, oh, maybe it was the perk system, maybe that's what did it in for me or I just didn't really like the chaos story and while all those things might be true on some level I think that's just the surface manifestation of the deeper issue that's rooted in BO4. The game leaned too far onto one side of being a journey based game and it lost what had made it so great in terms of the balance that was able to strike between these two sorts of modes. And to back that statement up when Black Ops 4 was being developed it was the idea was thrown around for a while that they weren't even going to have rounds anymore like literally there was going to be no waves that increase thus getting rid of the entire round counter as well ultimately they didn't end up implementing that in black ops 4 but you can sort of see how the way the maps play out where that system would actually work for the game that it was built in and let's say for instance they actually went through with it there was no rounds anymore in black ops 4 that ultimately leads us back to our first question at the beginning of the video which is what is zombies is that is that what zombies is the ironic thing about Black Ops 4 is all of the things they wanted to implement, such as the new perk system and create a class and elixirs and specialist weapons, all these things designed to increase replayability ultimately ended up meaning nothing or were even counterproductive in some cases. Because when you design a map with the emphasis on getting a quest completed, which is how Black Ops 4 maps were made, then there becomes a dominant strategy. There becomes a meta setup to run. When a zombies map is very structured and there there's a proper setup that will get you through that quest optimally, then there's very little incentive to ever switch up your playstyle. Weirdly enough, I think the Black Ops 4 create a class and out of game systems would have worked better in Zelensky maps. Ultimately, when Zombies maps became about completing the quest, this inevitably led to the death of public matches as well, and I would say this actually started in Black Ops 3. When the game emphasis is just on killing zombies and surviving as long as possible, it doesn't really matter how many other people in your game. You can play public matches and not really have your experience dampened at all. In fact, it actually might end up being a lot of fun. When the maps become quest-based, however, there is very little reason to either jump in with random people, so you tend to either just play by yourself or with a small group of people that you already know. The death of public matches in Zombies is a very important aspect to the game, and it's very complicated as to why it happened. Now, the reason I told you all of that, and I'm coming full circle with this, what I think would do really well for the next Treyarch game if implemented properly would be to ultimately emulate the balance that Black Ops 2 got. Having a healthy set of very unstructured maps that are more Zelensky-like, we'll say, and then also having some very structured maps that are more journey and quest base oriented. That, and also to put more of an emphasis on in-game mechanics. Black Ops 4 suffered from what I like to call the destiny effect, where all of the decisions you make are really out of game. You, you know, you change elixirs in the menu, you pick a specialist weapon in the menu, you create a class in the menu, and it's like all these things you really do just out of game, and there's not much you can do in game to change any of that. Your success in terms of gameplay in Black Ops 4 to some degree be became more dependent on what you were running as far as class setups versus your actual skill as a player. And the advantage to making a wave-based game mode primarily the game's function is it's very inviting and welcoming to new players. The premise is very straightforward and simple. And that being said, the game doesn't need to be easy even though the premise is simple. I really think scaling back a lot of the peripheral out-of-game mechanics that Black Ops for, and even to some degree Black Ops 3 introduced, and bringing it back to its simplicity, yet making it still difficult. 
bring the primary focus back to just killing zombies and surviving waves, but you can have an infinite number of mechanics that can make that task itself difficult. You can go back and play games like Black Ops 1 and 2 right now, and this, the sheer gameplay in and of itself is still a good challenge. At the end of the day, a game that is easy to pick up and play, it's not intimidating to get started on, will not only encourage new players to try zombies, but will even bring back old veterans that maybe haven't played in a long time. But you can also simultaneously make the skill ceiling very high in that very simplistic game mode so that veteran zombies players don't get bored and always have a challenge to contend with. Ultimately, the point I'm making here is that a zombies game cannot be healthy if it leans too far on one side. World at War being just simply a wave-based survival mode can get boring, stale, and stagnant, and Black Ops 4 on the complete opposite end of the spectrum can be overwhelming, intimidating, and sometimes just straight up unfun. Treyarch would do themselves a huge favor about returning to this dichotomy between these two styles of gameplay, as there's an audience for both, and there's room in the game for both. With the release of the Treyarch game coming up this year, I thought this would be a good time to sort of actually lay my thoughts out on the table here and, and talk about really, you know, what I think zombies should do going forward, and you guys can let me know in the comment section if you agree or if you disagree. These were simply my opinions on the matter, and I would love to know what you guys think down below in the comment section, but if you guys did enjoy the video, and also if you want more videos like this as well just sort of taking a bit of a deeper dive into certain aspects of zombies I could break down particular maps like this or particular easter eggs or, or something like I don't know I'm sort of thinking about exploring this style of video a little bit more and uh, I just want to know what you guys think about it but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're brand new and I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video also go follow me on twitch I'm streaming over every day there but anyways have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one